No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, how's it going? I'm Micah from No Film School. We're here with Wes from TV Logic, and he's going to show us the new 5.5 inch on camera monitor that they've got this year at NAB 2017. Great, good, good. Um, thanks for coming by. And what I want to show you here is this is our third generation of our uh, five and five inch series uh, onboard viewfinder. Um, this is the first time we've built a monitor rather based on an OLED panel. So why is the OLED better? Because black is black. That means if you want to if you want to dim the, the pixel down to very very dark black, you just turn off the pixel. And there's no light leaking through. Um, while this monitor doesn't get bright like a high dynamic range display can, what it does do is it allows you to apply like an HDR emulation LUT and be able to see the HDR PQ curve on the screen. Because even though it doesn't get any brighter than 350 candela, it actually has the range, the tonal range, to be able to reproduce PQ as an approximation so you can see it. And so that's why, we, that's why we put this out with an OLED panel instead of an LCD. All of the monitors that we build, every TV Logic monitor is factory calibrated with a, a custom calibration software. We call it CL Soft. And it's actually available for free to every customer that buys a monitor from us. The only thing you need to use it is you need a certified probe. So you can either buy the probe from us with the software, um, and the, that would be like an X-Rite i1. Um, and if you already have an XRI1, that doesn't work because XRite requires you to have all their probes uh, serialized to the software. But we will sell you an XRite serialized probe with the software for like $500 list. Um, but there are other probes that do not need to be serialized. They're just more expensive, like uh, Colorimetry Research, Klein K10s. There's about five or six that we that we have certified for use with our software, and so either you you, know, you don't have to run out and buy those because those cost usually three times what the monitor does, but you can rent them or and actually if you, you know, if you're in the Los Angeles area, we'll do it for you for free. In terms of firmware, uh, what kind of uh, features are you rolling out for this? Well, uh, one of the features that we have on this monitor that's pretty useful is that we have log to linear conversion lights. So if you're shooting with a camera that outputs you know s log reds log any of the log formats and you want to be able to see those converted to 709 for monitoring purposes that's a lot that's built into the monitor you just have to select which camera you're using apply that lot and then you don't have to be doing that conversion externally the other thing that we're going to be adding to this in future firmware is the ability to load 3d LUTs. so if you've got a lot that you've already created perhaps you've got a hdr LUT that you've you've created um, but with the uh, DIT or something and you want to preview what that's going to look like coming off your log feed, you'll be able to load that LUT, custom LUT into the display and see the, the image displayed with the LUT in, in place. And it's also something that allows you to, uh, to have a little bit wider color gamut than is typically available in, in a uh, LCD monitor of this size. You know, this is actually going to give you DCI P3 color space and be able to see those colors on a little viewfinder, which is pretty amazing. It now has a built-in Sony L-Series battery back. Um, so if you have, if you use those batteries, you don't have to buy the accessory battery back. You just slap them in and you're off to the races. If you use uh, LPE6s or some other type of battery, they, we still have the brackets that then slip into that L-Series that bracket and you can use it that way. It now has a headphone jack, so if you actually have audio in your SDI feed or your HDMI feed, if that's what you're using, you can monitor it with a headset and just, just for, you know, uh, to, to, to know that it's there, basically. Um, Excellent, so you have more than one model of this, is, or is it just all one model with HDMI and SDI? Oh, just one model, so it's HDMI in and out, SDI in and out, and cross-conversion between both. What's the uh, availability and price point on this? These will start shipping probably in early July, and the U.S. list price is $17.99. Right on. That's Wes with TV Logic, and we're hanging out here checking out the new 5.5-inch OLED monitor at NAB 2017.